So this is where we stayed last night. We're in Lelant in Cornwall. And we stayed in this beautiful B&B. Gotta find some free side parking now, haven't we? We have found some free parking just down from Lelant Church. We were going to park right at the church, but as you can tell, it's somewhat busy. Great idea. Superb. For doing your bit. Back on the Acorn South West Coast Path, heading towards Carbis Bay, where we've walked from Carbis Bay into size many, 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 many times before now. But this is official for our South West Coast Path trek. From Leland? Come on this way. What a great view to start our day off. That's good to me. It all joins up. So to our right is Hale Beach. But we're heading away this way towards Carbis Bay and some tives. Oh, can hear the sound of a train. Come <laughs> There's the train. Who needs a train when you've got a pair of these? Someone's been very artistic on the right. Ahead in the distance is some tives. Walking distance about four and a half miles. So the plan today is to walk from Leland to St Ives, which you think is between about four, four and a half miles. Then from St Ives to Zenor. And then once we get to Zenor, get the bus back. That's the plan. And hopefully it all goes swimmingly. We've kind of broken the route up. You can walk from Zenor to Pendine. But it's Sevilla. But it's class of Sevilla and it's 15 miles. So by today, by us doing at least Leland to Zenor. Yes, some of the walk is some of the walk is at least manageable. And then on another day we'll do the second half from Zenor to Pendine, which is still Sevilla but it won't be 15 miles. Because we're here to enjoy this. Aren't we? Yeah. Lovely and quiet at the moment. Blue skies as well, which is always pleasant. Fourth Kidney Sands. Just look at this for a view. Stunning beach. Well, literally right by the railway line here. It's crazy. Time for a quick drink. Well needed. So the path forks, we take the right hand side downwards. Look at that for a gorgeous view to our right. And even ahead, that view opens up again. Always follow the arrow. St Ives is looking a little bit closer now. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Mm. Nice cool breeze as well. Just down there is Carpus Bay. Heading there now. I thought we'd walk in Carbis Bay Beach. 
then rejoin the path just up here. Got to take advantage of the beach sometime, haven't you? Especially on a glorious day like today. Facilities here as well if you need them. Just need to find the right footpath sign. Find the ugly butterfly, you know you're going the right way. Someone's getting married today. Perfect day. Beautiful around here as well. And as shown here, the G7 summit was held here last summer. Goodbye Carbis Bay. We've just gone past the two mile mark. Onwards to St Ives. Many a year ago, we used to push a push chair down towards St Ives, didn't we? When our girls were very little. Grown up and both married, can you believe? So yeah, back in the mid nineties. Yeah. We used to wheel them down into St Ives. Town centre ten minutes. Welcome to St Ives. We love St Ives. Love St. Ives. We've been here so many times. Just watch for the shadows of the seagulls, Lane. Love this pub as well. The telephone box right outside. Another beautiful view of St Ives from here. Now I remember last time we were here there was the Invisible Man. And he's still here. It's a bit of a giveaway. He's wearing shorts. So the path leads us up to the headland there. We're at the top. Amazing views. done a tad over four miles back to leave St Ives. We've never walked this part of the path before. So. I was going to say so all this is new territory isn't it? Yeah. New route that we've never done before and uh, beach we haven't really been on before. We've been past before. Another stunning beach in St Ives. This is Porth Mio Beach or Porth Mio Beach. Depends which part of the country you're from you want to pronounce it. So we think the path takes us off the beach and just slightly inland for a while. That's where we were a bit earlier. So here's the Tate Art Gallery. Never been in there, it's supposed to be amazing. But I have no time for art. We have a destination with Zenor, somewhere over there. Well, this is definitely the end of St. Ives from here. And from this spot, we think we've got between five and six miles to go. Another amazing shot of St. Ives. Every time we turn our backs, 
we see that they'll soon be out of sight so we're making the most of it I can see the route ahead follow the little dots of people let's follow the little people along the route to Zenor We come. What a view. What a view. A trick point ahead. Ray, you've made it to the trick point. <laughs> no, no significance for this one. Ordnance Survey Triangulation Station. Another spectacular view. It's a waterfalls going into the ocean. I reckon I've walked two miles since that last sign that said four miles. But no, it says three miles to Zena. Oh. Oh, can you believe it? It's a mile here, it does feel like two. Mmm, it does, that definitely felt like two. I can't be right. We've done, we've just done two miles from that last post. I'm sure we have. Hunt over. It's my face. I will check my footage. But that sign suggests we've done one mile in just over an hour. No! This is This is the Southwest Coast signs playing me up again. Again. Then ahead, uh, just ahead. We're now entering Tregerthen on the homeward stretch. And now it's to scramble up. The lane made light work of that though. Boulders. Lots of them. Of course, I start filming, we drop down. Oh, it's a nice slide, isn't it? I just 
just went down on my bottom. Got to get up though. <laughs> Did it. To go down and then up towards the head. Zenor head. I think this might be Zen ahead. Oh, we're here. Welcome to Zen or Head. Zen or Headland given to the National Trust December 1953. There's quite a view from up here too. That's the view from Zen ahead. Stunning. And over there is the next part of the southwest coast path we'll be doing. Stunning. So Zen ahead was that way, where we've just come from. And Pendine. Well, they've walked 12 miles for some of the best stuff. Right. So it's a 7 mile hill versus a 12 mile. Hmm, I know. Like a bit of hill. So, watch this space. We may very well be doing that route very soon. Simon, we've got half a mile now off the path okay. to get to the bus stop. Yeah. Have you enjoyed Me. today? Yes. Uh, but as the book said, uh, the stretch the Zenor was, is it described as strenuous or? Severe. Severe. Well, so, St Dives to Pendine is severe, so we don't actually know if we've hit the severe bit in fairness. Or than half the severe. It was very maybe. nice out of St Ives for the first few miles there, wasn't it? It's a concrete yeah. path. The walk into St Ives. Uh, beautiful. It's been beautiful. Uh, that's been my favourite part yeah. of today's walk. Graduate. Easy, probably uh, that's The views to Zenor have been studying. Yeah. The terrain has been rocky rocky in to parts. Say the least. so i'm looking forward to a drink maybe at the oh. Good health. Well, done. well deserved. Good walk. Very good walk. Here's the bus stop that will take us back to La Lant, where the cars parked. So, how many miles today, Elaine? Almost 12 and a half miles. 12.34 miles. Another stonker of a day. Thank you, have a good evening as well. So we're almost back at the church and the car. If you're still watching, thank you very much. If you don't subscribe, please feel free to subscribe. Click the like button. We shall see you on the next hike. Won't we Elaine? Thumbs up. of our holiday. We started roughly here in La Lent and we walked to Zena which is probably about here and the reason we did that was because St Ives to Port Pendine 
was classed as severe and about 13 or 14 miles. So we stayed in the Lent, so we decided to walk from the Lent to Zegna.